Listen. Does it sound like the mini fridge is is snoring? <laughs> What's going on, little buddy? Alright. What in God's name? Tech Review Tuesday. Alright, on today's episode of Tech Review Tuesday, I've got a very exciting new thing for us to review. That is the, is that too bright? Let me just bring this down just so, that is the DJI Osmo Pocket. DJI sent me this little bastard about a week ago and I've been dying to play with it. Um, haven't really done anything but turn it on yet. Meet Osmo Pocket, a compact stabilized smart camera that was made to fit in every moment. So what this is, is a tiny itty bitty miniaturized, small, very small, tiny, It's almost indescribable what it feels like to hold this in your hand because it feels like something that came from the future. To give you like a little context of what a three axis gimbal typically looks like. This is what my, this is what my first three axis gimbal looks like. This is, this is what it looks like without a stand. You put the camera right here. This is the DJI Ronin S. This is another three axis gimbal. This is for like SLR cam. SLR cameras and this is the like GoPro three axis gimbal you put a GoPro in there and it's this size now for scale I mean it's almost absurd it even I mean can you see that size difference like crazy it even comes with this little carrying case which I have to say DJI did a very good job putting this together and these are like regular jeans if you look at how they're positioning this and you look at the features integrated in this, I think DJI thinks this could be sort of a one-stop shop for vloggers or, you know, like this is a small video camera replacement. Now, DJI is one of my favorite companies because they make tools that make it easier for like amateur creators like me to make their content. And in understanding what this thing does, a miniature stabilized pocket camera. It made me think of another company that does a really good job creating tools for amateur creators like me that also just launched a pocket sized camera that specializes in amazing stabilization and that's the new GoPro 7. So today's Tech Review Tuesday is gonna pit the DJI Osmo Pocket against the GoPro Hero 7. And this is gonna be less of like a competitive thing and more just trying to show you what these things look like like side by side. This one's 399 bucks, this one's 350 bucks, this one has a mechanical gimbal, this one's optically stabilized, this one's super tough, this one, well it feels pretty tough, maybe not GoPro tough, but tough. So I'm gonna test this thing while riding a skateboard because I always ride a skateboard and skateboards are bumpy and it seemed like a good... Oh, oh. What's up, gentlemen? Oh, you the man, bro. Nice, man. nice to see you guys. And the skateboard's bumpy, and a, I need a bumpy place to test something that's all about its stabilization. All right, so here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do one shot with the GoPro. I'm gonna do one shot with the Osmo Pocket. Same exact shot, split screen them side by side, and then you tell me which one looks better. Okay. I'm gonna do it right here.
cameras have pro modes, but I'm shooting in full auto, default 4K by 30, and it's down res for this video to 1080, but I'm not doing anything special here. No pro mode. This is what both of these cameras look like straight out of the box. vlogging camera, holding it in my right hand, just uh, holding it out like, you know, like any of us idiot YouTubers do, talking into it. See what the sound sounds like, and I don't know, I can't see how wide it is. Am I, is my whole head in this shot? Is this a viable vlogging camera? Mm, no idea. The sun's pretty though, isn't it? All right, same shot in the GoPro, holding it out, using it like a vlog camera. This is the native audio on the GoPro, no microphone or anything. Uh, I know this thing works as a vlogging camera because I've used it before. It is so cold out right now, it's unbelievable. <sighs> All right, this is the Osmo Pocket. I'm using it like I'd use a vlogging camera. All right, same shot in the GoPro, holding it out, using it like a vlog camera like any of us idiot YouTubers do, talking into it. Uh, I know this thing works as a vlogging camera because I've used it before. Okay, so both these guys have a time-lapse feature and I'm testing that now provided, focus, provided I don't freeze to death. I'm curious to see how they come out. To quit shooting because it was so cold outside. Okay, so before I came home, I went to the local skate park to get some like real world cinematography from these things. Hi. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's Yo, up, guys? Pretty Pie Series. Pretty Pie Series. Pewdiepie, are you crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, let's get it. Yeah, what's good, man? Wait, yo, can I take a selfie? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you got it, man. Yo, Tokyo! Tokyo! Yeah. Oh, shit! Nah, you bucking! You fucking bucking! Oh, my... Holy shit! Yo, what's good? What's good, man? Sun right here. Very, very exciting device from DJI. I appreciate what they're doing for, for sort of the prosumer market. For 350 bucks, this thing is a movie making machine. There are a, a bunch of other features that I didn't test in this video, like face tracking, and it also does one feature I'm excited about, which is like moving time lapses, where you just sort of program it this place and this place, and it'll do a slow time lapse where it pans using the gimbal. Those kinds of features uh, used to be inaccessible unless you had professional equipment. Now a tiny device like this lets you do that. And I, I, I think that these kinds of products are indicative of where the entire industry is going. Small, relatively inexpensive, and they emulate what used to only be able to be done with big, very expensive equipment. All right, that's it for this week's Tech Review Tuesday. Be sure to tune in next week where we're gonna have the world premiere of Dan Mace's Tech Review Tuesday intro. Uh, until then, I'll be, um, well, I'm gonna go take a warm bath.